Hello everyone, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video we'll talk about the Express Entry Draw 172. It was conducted yesterday, that is January 7th, but the details have been updated only today. And yes, it is a good news for all of those people who are there in Canada who have the Canadian experience because this was for the Canadian experience class. The cutoff score for this draw was 461. Let's first talk about the details of this draw and then we will talk about the implications of this draw on the regular all program draws that are being conducted regularly. So the number of invitations issued is 4750. The tie breaking rule was September 12, 2020 at this time. This is certainly a very good news for all of those inland candidates who had the Canadian work experience because if they had the scores of 460s they would have got the invitations and there are chances that these kind of draws would be conducted in the near future as well. So if they're in the 450s they would be really hopeful. I am really happy for all of you guys but at the same time I am sure this is a bad news for all those people who are waiting in the express entry pool who, who don't have any Canadian work experience and don't have any PNP nomination because they were actually expecting an all program draw to kick off this new year but that didn't happen. We see the same old pattern once again because 5000 invitations have been issued in this draw and the last so if we check out the details of the last draw as well we see that overall 5000 invitations have been issued which is still a good sign which means that Canada actually wants to keep up that pace of issuing 5000 invitations in every 14 days which is a good sign but yes all those people who are there in the home countries who did not have the Canadian work experience or the PNP nomination it's certainly a bad news because this draw would definitely mean that the cutoff score for the all program draw would go higher. The cutoff score in the last all program draw was 468 which is actually the lowest cutoff score in the last one year. We were all expecting that because Canada is issuing 5000 invitations now so we were expecting that the cutoff score would go even lower maybe to 466 maybe to 464 but that hasn't happened at least in the first couple of weeks in January. So we can say that the same pattern might be started once again earlier in the month of March they started actually issuing these back to back PNP and CEC draws instead of the all program draws and it seems that the same pattern has started once again. I know this is a big shock for all of those people who are in the express entry pool but I would still suggest that don't lose hope things get changed rapidly IRCC hasn't announced the reason behind it but yes, as I told you in the last video, province-wide lockdowns in Canada have started once again, Ontario and Quebec has been locked down. So these might be the reasons why IRCC is conducting these draws once again. But yes, many congratulations to all those CEC candidates. I know you'd be overjoyed to see that the CEC draws are being conducted once again. Okay, checking out the CRS score distribution of candidates in the express entry pool as of January 4th. We see that in the CRS score range of 601 to 1200, 183 candidates were there. Some people were actually asking that how did 250 invitations were issued. So basically the PNP specific draw, the last draw was conducted on January 6th and these details are from January 4th. So in two days we can expect that around you know 70 odd people would have joined the pool. That is totally acceptable. Now it's very difficult to analyze this score distribution because it does not specify that how many people from CEC are there, how many people from FSTC or all program draws are here. So we are not going to dig deep in this CRS score distribution. So yes, a good news for all those people who have Canadian work experience and a bad news for all of those people who are waiting in the express entry pool without the Canadian work experience. So thanks a lot for watching this video guys. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. And yes, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, Please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video.